again folks and welcome or welcome back to the channel today's video is just going to be a bit of a cautionary tale for anyone who owns one of these PRS SEs now this one's an Indonesian model so it's right at the budget end of the PRS range but these are still over £400 to buy new I believe this is the standard 22 I've had this for a few years and today I'm asking the question what's wrong with my PRS SE uh, actually that should be what was wrong with my PRS SE because I fixed the problem now so I'm just going to tell you today what the problem was uh, and point out the fact that it it appears to be a quite common problem with these PRS SEs. Now, whether it affects the SE models that are built in Korea rather than Indonesia, I don't know. But anyway, if anyone can shed any light on that. So what was the problem with this PRS SE? I rarely play this guitar and I picked it up a few weeks ago and I just found it so difficult to play, especially bending strings on it. I couldn't bend the strings very easily at all. It was hard work. And I didn't think a lot about it. I just put it back down and picked another guitar up. But then I thought, when I thought about it, I thought, well, I'm pretty sure that this guitar wasn't that difficult to play when I first got it. And so I thought I'd better have a look round it. And so I had a look and what I found was the bridge was actually tilting forwards, not just by a small amount. We weren't talking a, a couple of degrees, but it was almost like a 40 degree angle or something. It was tilting forwards. And so I thought, well, that doesn't look right. That bridge should be flat or more or less flat. I mean, a slight tilt forward is probably all right, but not to the degree that it was tilted forward. And so initially what I did, I just tried plugging the holes. I took the bridge off, took the screws out, and I wrapped some plumber's tape around the screw threads so they were nice and tight, screwed them back in, put the strings back on, tuned up. Same problem the bridge tilting really badly forwards whether these holes had been drilled incorrectly and they were drilled cockeyed and not straight or whether it's the wood that's soft and the tension of the strings are pulling that bridge forward and forcing those holes bigger I don't know I don't know what the problem is but like I said it does seem to be quite a common problem on these so if you do have one of these Indonesian PRS SEs, you might want to check the bridge on it. If you're thinking about buying one, definitely check that bridge before you part with any cash. Uh, so how I fixed it in the end, I took the bridge back off, I took the screws out, I took the posts out and I re-drilled the holes, but I re-drilled them larger. And then I bought some hardwood dowel, about 15, 16 millimetre diameter, so quite thick hardwood dowel. Uh, I got beech, but you could use any hardwood, oak, whatever, as long as it's a hardwood. And then I cut them to size so that they sat, they were going to sit flush with the top of the guitar body. And then I tapped them back in, glued them, obviously. Left it a couple of days for the glue to dry. Uh, and then re-drilled the holes and refitted the bridge. And the guitar is playable again now. It's playing great. I can bend strings easily now. <laughs> Which is how it should be so it's gone from a wall hanger 
back to a playable guitar. That's all from me today, just a very quick one there today, just to point out this seeming flaw in these PRS SE models. Uh, I'll try and get another video up for you next week, but until then, take care, look after yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>